It looks like Mickey Mouse. Okay, hello everybody, welcome back to, I don't know why I said okay, I was like, okay. Well yeah, welcome to another snapshot video. This time I'm going over the Elite Snapshot 13W37A, 1337, it's awesome. Um, and the first thing I'm going to show you guys is, whoa, what is this enormous nether portal? I think I got a bucket plug in. No, I didn't. You can make nether, this is the maximum size of nether portals. 23 by 23 blocks. This is huge. And I just decided to make a not even halfway decent Mickey Mouse. But I tried my best. So, yeah. <laughs> there, there's, there's Mickey Mouse. Yeah. Anyways, you can now fit gas through portals if you make it big enough. And, yeah. So, yeah. I keep saying, yeah. Command blocks will now show the previous command that they ran. So, I'll run time set. And then it says the previous output was at 2033, 22. And right now, it, as I'm recording this, it is 8.33 p.m. where I live. So, this is actually shows the actual time on your computer, not the Minecraft time. So, yeah. That's pretty cool. So, that's the last time a command was run. So, if I press it again. The last command was run a little bit later. Yeah, that's just a pillar new feature. And apparently, um, command blocks used to have a 256 character limit, not anymore, because there are so many long commands with all the new commands that they added. So yeah, you have to make them pretty long to do certain stuff. So they got rid of that. There might still be a limit, but it's if there is, it's pretty long. The slash give command now lets you type the name of the block instead of the ID, so you don't have to memorize a bunch of things or refer to a website or anything. So, for example, I could do slash give epic face, or you can, if there's, okay, this has been here for a while. If you type in E and press tab, it will scroll through everybody on the server who has a name that starts with E. If I do EP, and then tab, it'll scroll through, I can keep pressing it, and every time I press it, it'll scroll through the next person who has EP in their name, or ha who has the first two letters EP. So, yeah, so that's not the only one on, I can just do E and do that. This has always been like that from what I know. Um, so yeah, you can do that. And I think you can do it with like slash with the commands too. Yeah. Okay. Um, so the give command I can do give epic face 220 but instead of just typing cobblestone there still is something you have to do but it's not too hard to remember. Just do minecraft colon cobblestone but then if you want if I want to give myself 64 if I want to give myself 17 there you just give yourself however much you want so you just type in this and then the number but if you just want one then you don't type anything so yeah but if some if the title of something has two or more words in it instead of just putting a space like if I were to put Iron ingot, that wouldn't work. Oh, crud. Ah. Whoops. If I were to put iron ingot, that wouldn't work. I would have to put an underscore here, which, so if you hold shift and press the minus key, then it'll make an underscore. So then I'll give myself 17 iron ingots. And I wonder if there's still the data values. I wonder if there's like red wool instead of having to type special ID. Yeah, there's still the special IDs. <laughs> so yeah, um, if somebody sends a chat message, there are a lot of updates to the chat system. If someone sends a chat message, you can um, press T. So if I'll say, hello world, in all caps for some apparent reason, I can, oh, and this just shows tooltip. Uh, I don't know why you need that, because you can already read what it says. I actually think I know what that means. So this is how it used to be. One is the idea of stone. Oh wait, never mind, never mind. I thought it would say given one type of phase two zero. Never mind. I don't know what the purpose of that is. Anyway, so if you click on somebody's name, it instantly does slash message message them. So if by but I can't message myself. 
because it's myself, so there's no need to <laughs> send a message to yourself. But if Bionic said something, um, is this command okay? I'll just do. Oh dang! Uh, how do I make? I don't think there's a way to make the console say something from here. Uh, hold on, I'll be right back. Actually, there's no point in making the console say something, um, because you can't send a message to the console either, <laughs> because it's not an actual player. But like, so yeah, I'm on Murphycraft, Bionic puts out a chat message, I want to send him a private message, I just go in here, click on his, click on his name, and then I can talk to him. But if somebody uses slash say to say something, and I'm clicking on my name right now, it won't send a message. So I guess if you don't want anybody sending you a private message, well, they can just do this. Epic Cafe. Epic Cafe 220. No. You can, you can still just do this, but yeah. Um, yeah. The n uh, next feature is if you take a screenshot, uh, I'm just going to take a screenshot of Mickey Mouse and use it for later. Another Mickey. <laughs> and then see there's a little line there there's whoops okay, and I'm not sure if it'll cut off part of the window when I open it up anyways click this it'll bring it up in my photo viewer so that's awesome how cool is that <laughs> so yeah I almost exited out Minecraft that would have been such a fail alright so yeah that's pretty cool you can just click on it look at your picture awesome New command lets you spawn blocks at a certain coordinate. Oh, and th those are new two particles, but are particles when you fall. I already talked about that. But there is one thing I missed. From the depending on the particle, like the explosion effect is bigger depending on how high you fall from. If I fall from here, it's pretty big. If I fall from here, pretty small. So yeah, just wanted to point that out. I didn't explain that last time. Um. Yeah, the spawn command so it is set block I should be able to do this hold on let me see our coordinates I'll just spawn some one up here 24 68 negative 231 if you have a command block on your world right now, do not type this in yet. I want to make sure it works. Okay, I did not do that correctly. I'll be right back. Okay, I got it to work. I'm just going... It works with... Oh, shoot. It works like that, but I'm going to see if I can still do Minecraft stone. Yes, you can do that. So, I'm going to... Move the button, so then you can actually see it spawning. Press it. Boom! It's instantly there. So this will be like a huge thing for map makers. They can make tons of new stuff. I wonder what would happen if I did this. Nothing. Okay. <laughs> I'll be like, oh my gosh, there's a floating iron nugget in the sky. It's an actual block. That would be cool. Or it could drop one. I would... I wonder if there's a command where you can drop an item at a certain coordinate. If there isn't, then I want that, because I've always wanted them to add that. It'll just drop an item in a certain place. I'm sure there is, I just don't know about, but yeah. They should add that. Maybe like with the set block command, if I were to do it with iron ingots, then it would spawn, it, like it would drop an iron ingot on the ground at those coordinates. So yeah, that would be cool. Cobblestone. Cobblestone. I'll just set it back to that for further use. And clickable text there is a really long command uh, that you can use that allows players to click so it the one that Captain Sparkles used it, I watched his video and took notes because there's no change log for some reason well here's what it said roughly pretty sure this is what it said so then um, it, it would the, when you press the button the command lock would say the command block would say that then the command would run so if you want daytime you would click here no or I'm gonna put daytime there whatever if you wanted daytime you would click here it would set it to zero set time to day 
Then if you want a nighttime, you click here and it'll set it to nighttime. Oops. Um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. All the things you can do. All the things you can do with command blocks these days. And if I miss anything, go ahead and post it in the comments and I will make a second video showing off anything that I missed. So yeah. Oh, one more thing. Here's a seed if you want it. Put it there. Go ahead and pause the video if you want to see it. Voila, voila, voila. And my music's on. I don't normally put my music on. I don't think you can get copyright infringement for this, but just to be safe, I don't. And in case I want to add background music, I don't have it on, so yeah. Anyways, that's all. Unless I missed something. There's a seed again, if you missed it for me, then. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time. As I said, post anything in the comments if I missed anything, and I will make a second video showing off the features that I might have missed. So, keep on crashing them waves. And I want to see who can build the best Mickey Mouse looking portal. Send me a screenshot on Twitter. I want to see it. I want to see, or any sculpture out of these nether portals. I want to see it. I want to see how creative you guys can be with these nether portals. Because you can literally build some crazy abstract shape out of nether portals. And then <laughs> light them all and it looks really cool. Yeah, send me your nether portal designs, and I might feature them in the next snapshot video or Epic Doom News or something. So, I will see you in the next snapshot, which will most likely be 13W38A. Oh, good night then. <laughs> the sun's setting. Good night. Sun setting in both worlds, Minecraft and real life at the time I'm recording this. So yeah, that's, that's, that's interesting. <laughs> P pretty little flower. Good night.